Bailey, um, just a ridiculously qualified uh, fitness professional from the UK. And so, do we want our clients to, to, to think better, to have clearer minds, to, to have better functioning brains? And I think yes, we do. All right, we are live everywhere. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Joe. And uh, as we have people starting to come on, welcome, welcome to the live. This is gonna be an absolutely incredible interview. Um, in just a second, I'm gonna bring on uh, an absolute stud of the fitness world. Uh, who, uh, and we are gonna talk about the whole evolution of keto. Just a quick introduction for uh, those of you um, that are just tuning in to the for the first time, my name is Joe. I'm a nutritional therapist. About five years ago, uh, I discovered uh, what keto was all about. Super skeptical, ridiculously skeptical. Thought it was a, a, um, a restrictive diet that nobody should follow. Uh, you know, started diving into the research though. That was the one thing that I did well was research things, and uh, and then discovered, man. Um, this is uh, so much more than any diet. It's a hundred year old medical therapy. And, um, and now the world's just discovering it, but the world just still doesn't understand it. But some people have, you know, like us, taken it upon themselves to do the research. So in just a second, I'm gonna bring on a, uh, a coach over in uh, the UK. Now, let me, I'm just gonna, before I bring him on here, I'm just gonna go through a bit of his uh, credentials because he won't, uh, he'll get embarrassed if I'm bragging about him. But literally, so this is a guy that has helped out over 20,000 people. I said had over 20,000 personal training sessions. Imagine that. Now, a lot of uh, people out in the fit fitness industry, you know, they uh, they might have, and I'm just gonna bring him in here. Uh, they, you know, they, they go through their fitness uh, training and then they get into the industry. This guy has really taken a look at the entire holistic look at coaching, which I think is super important. So he's a, and I gotta read it because I can't memorize them, there's so many. He's an accredited level four nutritional advisor as well as being um, a uh, Czech holistic lifestyle coach, a Czech exercise coach. For those of you that don't know Paul Czech training, it's really like the top of the top. He's like a doctor of a fitness professional um, and what he's gone through to uh, to be the level of, of knowledge so he can help people. He's a two year mentorship with uh, Mansfield Institute, um, Institute, Institute of Leadership and Management Coaching, uh, what else? And he's a an accredited level uh, three NLP practitioner, which I think is also super important for those of you that guy, the guys that know uh, neuro linguistic program. It just helps him help so many more people. So we're going to talk about you know one of the areas that, that I love, which is obviously the uh, the keto world and this evolutionary is Lewis. How are you, bud? Hello, Joe. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. And uh, and everybody, I'm very pleased to introduce you to Lewis Bailey. Um, everybody, if you could let us know, you know, where are you uh, joining from? I see uh, uh, Keto Tomo, very nice. So we've got uh, the Middle East, we've got the UK, we've got some North America on there. Um, but yeah, let us know where you're joining in from. And uh, and Lewis, buddy, like you know, look, I, I think that you are. Uh, a shining example of what I think is the, the future of, of fitness professionals, right? Okay. You know, we've talked about this before. Um, I absolutely, uh, I, I, I think that, you know, I work with a lot of di different health and wellness professionals, um, a lot of practitioners, all different disciplines. You know, we're working with more and more doctors because they're realizing how nutrition can play a role in preventative therapy. You know, it's not just this outlying craziness anymore. Um, but you see clients on an almost daily basis, right? You know, now you're broadcasting live into their living rooms, you know, uh, all the time. So you've got this ability to uh, to have this influence over where they go and to keep them accountable. And, and I think more than any other health and wellness practitioner out there, because that's you know basically what you are, you have this uh, fitness professionals have the ability to really change the uh, future trajectory of people's lives more effectively than anybody else. 
And, um, and so I love that you have, you know, uh, are, are taking a look. I've got so much training so that as you are influencing people, you're influencing them the right way. And the fact that, you know, I mean, you've done so much research and, you know, since the day we started talking, you've dived into this whole idea of keto and the metabolic flexibility. It's, it's awesome, man. Awesome, awesome, man. Th thanks for that in the, in the intro, Joey. I really do appreciate it. And, you know, when you started going through, you know, the list of things and, uh, you know, you, you go through it all, look back and just think, actually, yeah, I, I'm really starting to get old now, you know, because a lot of that stuff was a long time ago, especially um, me, me check qualifications as well. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I, I absolutely love the personal training industry and, and what it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's really kind of starting now slowly to become. And, you know, when we look at the... The, the, the capability and the scope to be able to really kind of help people now across the world with, you know, the technology that we have now these days, it's, it, it, it's for me, it's a, it's an incredible position for the fitness industry to be in because we can have such a great impact, as you mentioned, in terms of people's lives from a health and wellness perspective. And I kind of, you know, fit for years of kind of like romanticized now about the, the, the personal trainers now being the, the midpoint now between you know, the, the GPs and the, and the medical industry, you know, and being that in point, in that middle point there, being be the ones now to say, right, okay, we're standing in the middle of this now to help you really kind of get to where you need to be from a natural perspective, you know, before you get to the GP, you know, and that's, that's where I see really kind of personal trainers can play an incredible role right across the world here is, is that we can be that point uh, of before people need to get to the GPs, that, is that we are there to really kind of guide people and, and help help transform them, you know, before, you know, they actually get to their taking the pills and, and all the rest of it that, that goes with that. So, yeah, so that that's kind of like my fantasy and it's kind of really the thing now that I, I look at the pistol training industry, especially in the UK, and I'm like, look, you know what, guys, let's let's kind of really get going here because we can be that 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 intermediary there before people are getting towards the GPs. So let's uh, let's get focused, let's get educated, uh, and let's start helping more people. You know, so yeah. so yeah, I I think yeah, I think we we've got that ability there to be able to to have that impact across the world. Yeah, totally. I love that. Uh, you know, I love that you're bridging that gap, and that's I think what we're trying to do with our community as well is uh, is be the um, the the megaphones behind the research. So you know, you got people from all over the world on this, people all over the world that are kind of coming together, realizing what keto really is, um, and and that we can like it can have a dramatic impact on the future health of of all of our countries wherever you're dialing in from. By the way, for people that are just joining, I'm on with Lewis Bailey, um, just a ridiculously qualified uh, fitness professional from the UK. We're going to go through a, um, a little bit of information about the evolution of keto, um, how it's impacting his clients, how it's impacted him. Um, and then at the end of it, we're going to give away some, uh, some trials of a super effective tool to help people understand and experience the the power of ketones this ketone energy that everybody's talking about and one of lewis's very very exclusive coaching packages so stick around to the end we'll tell you how you get that at the end um but uh but starting out like you know you mentioned this uh you know bridging the gap with the health and wellness world and, and doctors and this is one of the you know one of the biggest uh challenges that uh you know anybody that wants to help people discover keto has experienced that the um the 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 doctor world the medical associations around the world they're just behind on their knowledge of it and it's no fault to them there's a lot of stuff to know right they're medical textbooks don't do any training on keto except that ketones will throw you into ketoacidosis right and we <laughs> yes. all know that you know that's uh, that's this crazy notion and um and then at the same time the that fear that uh, fear that's caused by this lack of knowledge or just people not having the time to properly educate themselves just like me when I first heard about it maybe just like you and uh, and so that fear causes confusion and um, and so and that has definitely happened in the fitness world as well because you still talk to um, you know fitness pros that still want to have you eating six meals a day you know grazing all day long that's not the way that we're supposed to eat um, but why do you think that there's you know, there's still so much fear of keto in the health and wellness world, the fitness professional world, and also just in people in general. I think, you know, there's, um, I think there's a couple of reasons behind it, to be fair. I think that, you know, if we look at things such as the, in terms of like Google searching, you know, you know, 
ketones is one of the most searched for terms in Google. And so there's a lot of people out there that will take opportunities based upon that and, and will, you know, put all sorts of crazy clickbait titles there in order to be able to draw that. And I think there's a lot of misinformation around ketones and, and the ketogenic diet, etc. And I think that that certainly kind of if doesn't help on, on one side. And and I think that 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 starts to, to create a bit of confusion uh, about things there. And then on the other side is is that I, I don't feel that there's there's enough education, certainly through the fitness industry anyway, that, that I know of, is is that um I think I think the fitness industry look at the ketones and the ketogenic diets and think, well it's all to do with calories and that's all that matters because a lot of the fitness industry are drawn into the whole world of it's just about body fat and, and that's about it. There's, there's nothing else. It's quite a, you know, it's, it's a myopic view, isn't it? You know, of, of really what personal trainers should be, which is health and fitness practitioners, you know, that, that is what we are. And so when we start looking at health across a broad spectrum is we should, we should be thinking about things such as, okay, well, let's look at, things such as sleep let's look at things you know such as obviously the kind of if the diet and the things that we're eating and the quality of the foods that we are eating now and we're consuming you know let's start looking at those things there let's start looking at the person's energy levels let's start looking at how they're getting on with that so you know we start to look at so many different things that, that will be able to help people uh, as opposed to getting channeled into it's just about a calorie in calorie out and let's just drop as much fat as quickly as possible and um, you know it, it, it's a very very small view and so I think what the fitness industry do is, is that a lot of the fitness industry, they look at it and say, well, if it's just about calories, then it doesn't matter about ketones. And, and, and so that's where then you, you can get a lot of people from the fitness industry saying, well, it doesn't matter, you know, just cut the calories down. That, that's all it's about. Mm -hmm. But when we start looking into all of the benefits that, that, that ketones can do, th this isn't just the calorie thing at all. And, and so we start now to see, okay, well, we know for a fact now scientifically that the 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 enhancements to to the body from ketones you know from uh, you know a neural perspective and cognitive function and so do we want our clients to 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 think better to have clearer minds to, to have better functioning brains i think yes we do you know start elevated moods and how we feel you know do we want that to happen and um, yeah i think that we do and so when we start looking at the broad spectrum of all these different things that ketones can do for the body you know muscle preservation uh, cellular repair all of these things it's like come on you know that, that we should be focused on all of these areas as opposed to just kind of looking at that that narrow view and i think i personally think that's where a lot of, of confusion comes into play of people can just play it down to say well it doesn't matter, you know, uh, and that when that comes from the fitness industry, that obviously then has confusion to the rest of the public, you know. So I, I, I personally think that's where it is. And I suppose if we were to look at it as a bottom line, really, it's to do with the education. I think that the more that we can get this education coming through now uh, with all of the studies that are coming through, then, you know, it's really going to start making a dent. And, and, and I'm sure now opinions are going to start changing as the outcomes are all there in front of our faces and for everybody to be able to see. Yeah, you know, it's so true. And uh, it, it just it takes time for this to, to permeate into uh, people, for people to understand, you know, there's, there's so much science out there. We just had a, uh, the largest online um, keto workshop that the world's ever had. Um, it was uh, broadcast, you know, to every country around the world um, over the past two days, super late where you are. Um, but, uh, but it was incredible. You know, they had a, uh, a naturopathic doctor that's been working with ketosis interclinic for 15 years, going over everything from, um, cellular signaling to DNA repair to, you know, uh, antioxidants and anti-aging, um, you know, properly fueling the brain and getting blood flow in the brain, all with that ketone molecule, you know, the, a, a doctor in the States, or one of the guys that's very prevalent in the lifestyle medicine movement for uh, general practitioners in the USA, and that's going over to the UK and EU as well now, um, talking about what this is doing for all sorts of uh, disease states, you know, um, you know, cancer and diabetes. You know, Dr. Angela Poff, who was one of the, the main people that were, you know, cited in all the studies when exogenous ketones were coming out. Um, and, uh, and Dr. Ken Ford, literally the chairman of the board of NASA, the ex-chairman of the board of NASA, talking about ketones being um, muscle preserving every aspect 
of muscle preservation and muscle, uh, uh, muscle enhancements like protein synthesis, ketones, and the keto diet, like raising ketones in your blood can help with everything that catabolizes muscle, makes us lose muscle, ketones can fight against. It was just, yeah. just insane, right? And if you could yeah. sit everybody, you know, that has an impact on people's health down in a room and make them watch this stuff, I mean, we'd all just move forward with, you know, uh, helping people move towards a, a carb appropriate lifestyle and drinking yeah. ketones. What, what do you do when a client comes to you? What's, uh, what do you recommend for nutrition? So, I mean, we've normally, my always go to is, is, is low carb, you know, it's just, it's always a start off on low carb. And so what I try to do is, is look at, at, at the, the person's lifestyle and a lot of things that are going on in their world. And it's like, right, okay, can this person, you know, really start to integrate uh, the, the degree of the things that I need them to do. And so I, I start kind of looking at where they're at first of all and say, okay, uh, let's just try low carb first. And, you know, here is my recipe book and it, it's got so much in there that they can easily do and it's easy for them to follow. And so I, I give them those options just to start playing around with the food and start making better choices with regards to the quality of the food as we start moving through with obviously exercise as well. Um, but that's always my, my start off, my go-to is, is a low carb approach. And then if I feel as though the person, you know, really wants to, to ramp things up in terms of their optimization, you know, and, and I look at their lifestyle and, and it can go for that, then I'll, I'll start kind of nudging towards a ketogenic diet. Um, and I, I mean, I just remember, you know, I, I did the ketogenic diet for, for two years, you know, and, 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 was, and was big, big into the ketogenic diet for two years. And I, I loved it. And I, I the, the, the effects and the benefits w were incredible. You know, they were really, really good. Um, the reason why I don't do it now today is I have to have a bit more flexibility within my diet for the endurance training now that, that I do the, the ultra marathon. So, you know, I've kind of got to yeah, bring in a small amount of carbohydrates during those kind of days. So kind of don't really be able to be able to practice the, the ketogenic diet myself. But for me now, it's a case of uh, low carb approach in essence, carb cycle when I need to. And then, um, yeah, certainly using uh, ketones at certain points in time. <laughs> Like well, that's it. <laughs> well, that is, you know, that's what, what we always talk about, right? This idea that um, everybody, so I, whenever you went into the ketogenic diet, you, uh, you had been a, you know, a carb primary yeah. uh, energy source person for your entire life, just like everybody else. And yeah. so then you, you went keto, you and what and then you went through this adaption period when you went into the keto diet, and then your yeah. body started to be able to create, you know, create uh, or turn fatty acids into ketones efficiently over time. And two years, you said that you did it. Yeah, two years. So when I when I first started, um, just before I, I'd heard quite a lot about it, and I was and I was interested, and so I thought, right, I, because of the the looking at it it was just completely alien thinking how much fat and i'm like right okay i need to look into this and so once i started really getting into that side in, in, in terms of the research i just thought okay there's, there's a lot to this here and and, and i and i want to i want to sample some of this so we've just done it as a as a trial just to see how i would get on and um i, I give myself three months you know i thought right okay let, let's do this over a period of three months and so uh for, for two months I, I struggled a little bit and um, my training, my training kind of, of dipped quite, quite a lot. I'd probably say I'd lost about 30% in terms of uh, my output from a training perspective, which, you know, I was, I, was, I was a little bit concerned about and I didn't know whether I was going to continue. But then after persevering and keep on going through it is then my body just started to switch, you know, and then strength and everything else went back up again and I was feeling great. And then I started to really get the benefits from it. And I think one of the biggest things for me was the, the, the cognitive effects. You know, the, the, my mind was working so much better and so much clarity. Uh, recall was incredible. Um, and I remember doing a presentation once and, I was delivering the presentation. As I was delivering the presentation, I, I was also then just started to have like this conversation on the other side of my head where I was almost doing two things at once at the same time. I was just, mm -hmm. I was just absolutely fired. And it was just, I was amazed by it. I was, it, it, it was freaky, but, um, and, and, you know, once the endurance training is, is over for me, is I will absolutely be going uh, uh, back to that again. And um, yeah, because it was, it was, it was fantastic.
Well, let's see. Uh, it, a, yes, it helps men multitask for sure. The only thing that uh, <laughs> is pr clinically proven to help men multitask. Um, but uh, the but but also you're right. Like it, um, you became metabolically flexible again, right? Yeah. For the you know, and and now you move to the carb appropriate level that's right for you. And I think you know this is what uh, people have to understand. Like you know, the uh, people think about. Uh, keto when they're considering it and sometimes when they get into it and they're you know getting in that adaption phase they're like man this is a life sentence um but yeah. it's it's not it's a it's an adaption yeah and then you find out the uh, yes that is a big claim grace uh so the uh it, it's a uh, it's an adaption period and then once we are metabolically flexible again and what i mean by that everybody this is a term that you're going to hear more and more because this is the evolution of keto um metabolically flexible means that we're just utilizing all of the macronutrients that we're putting in our body the most efficient way and while until we've gotten metabolically flexible again um we are we're not able to do that right we're we've been just giving ourselves carbs for our entire lives so we don't know how to use fats effectively yeah. um and and so that's look at from a survival standpoint that's troublesome right because if we uh you know if you were to run out of food somehow uh then your you know your body's not going to know how to uh how to uh, keep itself alive right you know that was it was the back in the day if we were out on a hunt and we didn't have food for days like our body started converting those fats into ketones and then if we came across a, a fruit bush we ate fruit Right. And uh, and then we uh, we were out of ketosis. We were using carbs and we went back out and all the, the protein that we put in our body is not utilized as an energy source. It's used to preserve and protect our muscle. Right. So that's metabolic flexibility. So that's very cool. And, uh, you know, you, you mentioned uh, ketones. Now, now we have the technology to make it, uh, you know, uh, give us the ability to keep those ketones elevated while we're still uh, having carbohydrates. So, uh, so you've been, how long have you been drinking ketones for? Um, for about eight months now, eight, 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 nine months. And, um, I, I think that they are a vital tool in, 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 in my lifestyle now in, in terms of, of what I do. And, you know, a lot of people say, you know, you, you don't need to take ketones because, you know, you, you're not overweight or anything like that and i'm like look you're just completely missing the point here of what this is about and what it does and you know after then explain it everything about the benefits against it to ketones and what it gives you and so for me you know is that I'm, I'm i'm a really really busy guy i've got so many things kind of going on and um, I, I spend on a on a slow week is 10 hours training and then on a long week it's 20 hours training and um, plus all of me my client work and projects that i've got coming on as well um, and I've got two kids, you know, as well. And so with all of those things in play, it's like I, I need something to help me to keep on, you know, being a, a, the best I can be, you know, and being at my A game. And um, I think, you know, a, a testament to, to the ketones and to metabolic flexibility is, is that when I'm doing the endurance training now is, is once I hit that, say, 90-minute switch uh, and my carbs are completely depleted now and I've got, I've got nothing left, uh, it's at that point where it used to be a case of I would be really, really struggling. Um, but now this is that my body is just it is completely flexible to that. And yeah, is I'll get past that 90 minute point and then I know then that I'm depleted and I've still got another two or three hours to go. And so that's then my body switches obviously over to, to, to fat in terms of the fuel source and, and I'm continuing on absolutely fine is I don't have to keep on battering, you know, the, the, the gels or anything like that. And I can just, I can just keep going and, it, and, it's, and it's awesome. So, you know, it's the, it's the training aspect for me that, that it's, it's really good for and how I feel when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm training over a long period of time. You know, and it's the, the everyday of getting up and, and it really helping me to focus, keeping my mind sharp. Uh, keeping me energized and uh, just smashing through my day and I think um, it, it's it, it it feels great when you feel really good and and so and, and ketones are just incredible for that and so um why would they not want to feel good every single day and it's like so so they're just in there you know and uh, and, so, and and you know this is why you know say to clients as well and and to people I know it's like you you need to just try them, you know, just, just try them because they're, they're seriously going to kind of help you out. <laughs>
It's, I, lo I love that, man. That's very profound. It feels great to feel good every day. And just to give you guys an idea, because we're talking to Lewis Bailey for people that have just joined in um, and, uh, and, you know, fitness pro, but also ultra marathoner. I'm just going to bring up. So there's Lewis. <laughs> oh, but you, you got a little bit of uh, you got a little bit of a size on you. What are you doing doing ultra marathons? You can't carry that body around. How how long is an ultra marathon? That that no, that was just before the ultra marathon stage. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's crazy, man. I'll, I'll leave that up for uh, for the women watching behind me. The uh, <laughs> So look, you're looking good. So that is, um, uh, so that's amazing, right? So that, that gives you an idea. Like this is about, uh, you, you did nail it with the feels good to feel great for whatever it is that people need uh, in their lives, whether it is to give them that boost to make the changes that they need in their lifestyle um, for uh, if they, if they want to, like, if they're super fit like you and they want to take that fitness to the next level, then they got to be looking into optimizing, right? Like what's, What's yeah. one way that I can like, you know, just get that bit fitter, you know, go that extra mile, you know, the, uh, this is, um, you know, this is what ketones do, whether it's a, a mom that's just like, man, what are you talking about? I can't exercise. I can't even get through the day, right? Yeah. This can immediately, you know, they shake it up in water and drink it once a day. So um, for those of you that don't have an experience ketones yet, um, now you can, uh, there's powders out there that are bioidentical to the ones that our body produces. Then there's a lot of crap out there as well. That's a, like a mix and low level, just like you can get good protein and, um, and you can get bad protein, cheap protein. Yeah. But th that's just protein, right? Like, so one might be, you know, a heavily processed protein and one might be a more natural one. And, uh, but ketones are like, it's either chemically synthesized yeah. or there's some natural ones. It's a big price difference, but you know, so why do you choose the, uh, or what do you look for in ketones? Why do you choose the ketones that you choose? I, I think, you know, it just goes back to, in terms of some of the things that you've just said there in terms of optimizing. And, and if you want to be able to optimize is that you want to make sure that you're taking something that, that your body is going to utilize all of it, you know, not just take something and then you're getting rid of, of, of half of it, you know? So for me, it was making sure that I was, I was taking something that I knew was, was going to be all absorbed by my body and was, was more natural and, and I could, my body would utilize it. Um, and, and, and it was the case and, you know, I've done all sorts with it and I've done, you know, the finger prick testing and I've done that multiple times with the ketones and every single time it's just where it's just bang on and um, not only just doing it from the blood spikes I've been doing it from you know how I feel when I'm doing endurance training how I feel when I'm training in the gym how I feel just during the day um, and and so all of these things you know compounded together it, it was just a no-brainer you know it had to be this way because I wanted something that that, that my body could utilize to, to match what I was what I was looking for, which in essence is just optimization to, to, to the best that I, that I can I can be, you know. So so yeah, you know, it was it was that side to it. And I think that um, you know, looking at the at the background of, of where these have come from and, and the company improve it, it was like, yeah, this is good. This is absolutely rock solid. And and I enjoyed the um, the, the ethical side of, of, of this business as well. And I just thought, you know what, I, yeah, this, I, I'm into this, you know? So, um, so yeah, for me, it was, it, it, it was just a no brainer, you know? So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And so look at, that's what we're going to, uh, get into people now. So, uh, we'll, we'll wrap this up, but we want to get people a chance to try it because look, about 10 years ago, they started studying, uh, keto, uh, with the U S military, that U S military, uh, research led to the invention of drinkable ketones. This has made it easier for more people to be able to follow a carb appropriate lifestyle, to get themselves metabolically flexible, to get them back to their, their native state. And we're seeing a, a dramatic impact on people being able to make change in their life because of it. And so um, we're going to, uh, all you got to do is follow Lewis and then uh, direct message him and say, I want ketones. And uh, uh, you can say, I want ketones in my life, whatever. Um, and Lewis <laughs> is going to take all those people that follow him and direct message him. And now listen, if you've tried ketones out there, right, still follow Lewis, but these ketones are not for you. <laughs> we uh, we want new people that have not uh, that have not experienced uh, ketone energy before, not experienced what it's like to you know within um, thirty minutes 
to have the amount of ketones that people normally it takes them, you know, days fasting or, you know, a week of following the restrictive diet in order to experience. So you'll experience that right away. So we'll give away um, five trials of the ketones. And then one person is going to get the ketones as well as your coaching package for a month. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, for a full month. Yeah, coaching with it. That's amazing. Super, super generous and, um, and, and absolutely awesome to have you on. But um, I know that, look, it, you know, uh, for uh, people don't know, but, you know, you're working on this massive project with uh, the NHS and you really are. You're bridging that, uh, that gap and helping, um, you know, medical professionals as well as just regular citizens understand um, what this can do for people. So, uh, so really appreciate uh, everything you're doing. And, um, and once again, Follow Lewis, message him, say, I want ketones. And, uh, and five lucky people are going to get that draw. We'll, uh, we'll go live in a couple days and um, after some more people have got a chance to see this. And look, at share this with other people, right? We're going to get this time stamped and put out everywhere. But share this with other people um, and for people that need to know it, that don't understand it. Um, and look, at if you also share it, we'll go and check. And the people that share it as well as follow Lewis are going to have a better chance of, uh, of winning those trials. Um, so Lewis again, thanks buddy. Uh, awesome. you know, thanks for thanks staying up late. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks for staying up late there. and making me get up early and, <laughs> uh, and everybody, thanks for joining us. Have a great uh, night day, wherever you are in the world. Cheers, my everyone. Cheers. Bye now. Joe. Cheers.